A common question I get is if I already own a 1X, should I get a Series S? It's a great question, so let's go ahead and see if we can save you some time and money coming up. Hey, I'm Sam with Busy Dad Gaming. I help busy dads figure out what games to play so they can relax and go back to their families recharged. The Xbox line isn't very clear on who should get what system and the naming convention doesn't really help their case. This leads to a lot of problems with people getting the wrong console and ultimately leading to buyer's remorse because they got the wrong one. So today, let's make sure to help you avoid buyer's remorse and wasting that money by taking a look at both the One X and the Series S and which one is the best for you. Now, when the One X came out clear back in 2017, and I say that as if it's super old, but that was the year that COD World War II came out and you also had Battlefront II. World War II was mediocre by my standards and Battlefront II, although it looked exceptional on the One X, was played by a ton of grinding issues and you had the loot box fiasco. More recently, you had Jedi I fall in order that on the one x looked awesome i absolutely loved that game i ended up playing it for pretty much a week straight i actually had hernia surgery at the time so i was laid up and i didn't have a, a ton of physical activities to do so i went ahead and played uh, jedi fall in order for that pretty much an entire week man i absolutely love that game bit of a tangent but so be it now the one x was at the top of the line for the xbox one generation and just most recently was the most powerful console on the market this goes to show that this was geared more towards a 4k 30 perspective we're looking at six teraflops of compute power this also leads to having a higher memory bandwidth which means that it is potentially capable of hitting those 4k 30 marks now the one x because it is using older architecture does not support ray tracing or quick resume or 3D audio. Now, again, because it's using older architecture, it's also using a one terabyte physical hard drive. It's not using an SSD on here. It is also using HDMI 2.0, which is allowing it to hit those 4K marks. And if you actually chose to buy this thing brand new, you were looking at 400 bucks. Now that brings me to the Series S, which I've had around for about three months now. And in my opinion, it is the best value in gaming, especially when it's coupled with Game Pass. This little system is geared towards a 1440p 60. So again, four teraflops of compute power. And again, it's not an apples to apples comparison, different architectures, but it's also aiming for that 1440p 60 mark. The Series S does support ray tracing, quick resume, 3D audio, and overall higher refresh rates, potentially going up to that 120 mark. The Series S also has 512 gigabyte SSD hard drive in it. It does use HDMI 2.1 to hit those higher refresh rates. And brand new, you're looking at 300 bucks USD or 26 if you're looking at all access. Now, if you're wanting more info on the Series S, I do have a review and I'll link it towards the end of the video. So how does that actually equate to the real world? Well, the One X does have that 4K 30 mark, whereas the Series S has 1440p 60, potentially up to that 120 mark. From a pure horsepower perspective, the One X does get better fidelity graphics than the Series S, but resolution and frame rates aren't everything. Whereas the Series S obviously can push higher frame rates. You also look at the quick resume, uh, higher refresh rates, and quicker loading times for the Series S. So there's some of those intangibles between the One X and the Series S. The other thing that you need to keep in mind is physical media. If you are planning on taking your One X and trading it in for a Series S and you have a lot of physical media, then you potentially will be throwing away a lot of that physical media until you get another Series X as an example, something with an optical drive. So that's again, something that you'll need to take into account when you're looking at these two different systems. Which brings me to a dance perspective of should you actually upgrade from the One X to the Series S? And me personally, I would say no. It doesn't make a ton of sense and I'll tell you why. I still have a ton of physical media and so for me to go from the One X to the Series S, I would have been leaving behind a whole catalog of games that I wouldn't have access to at that point. Now granted, Game Pass does have a, quite a few of those games on backwards compatibility, but just from a pure perspective of if you like have hundreds of games, you do end up leaving a lot of those behind making that shift to a digital only product. Now, another reason I say it wouldn't be worth the upgrade is because the Series S does allow for higher refresh rates. Most people do not have the TVs to actually take advantage of those higher refresh rates. So you're going to be looking at HDMI 2.1 televisions that are going from either 60 or all the way up to 120. And some of those price tags do get quite steep. Again, if you're moving from the 1X 
next to the Series S is not just about the physical media aspect, but also the TV. Can you actually take advantage of the uh, additional features that are being offered with that particular console? For a lot of people, the answer is a no. So again, it doesn't make a ton of sense moving from the One X to the Series S again. So overall, my advice to you is if you have a One X and you're looking to upgrade to the Series S, don't. It doesn't make a ton of sense whether you have the physical media or if you don't have the TV or those are things that you're planning on. You might as well just wait for the Series X to be more readily available and just make the jump from the One X to the Series X. And then after that point, looking at a Series S to potentially supplement in another room or something of that nature where you don't need the latest and greatest in there. Now, if you're curious about the Series S and you'd like more information, go ahead and check out my review on the Series S and I'll see you over there.